Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at problems to do with averages. So before you have a look at this video, make sure you check out part one, where we look at all the uh, ways to work out the mean, mode, median and range, because that's going to be crucial before we look at this video. So definitely have watched that one beforehand, and then we can crack on with this. Okay, so there's loads of different ways they can ask questions to do with averages, and they tend to now do this because it's slightly trickier. So let's get cracking. We're going to start off nice and easy and then slowly get trickier. There's three pages here, so if you want to skip along to some of the harder ones, of course that's fine. So here's some numbers. We have a missing value here, x. We're told the mode needs to be 5. What number is x going to be? So the best thing to do here is to put these in order and just see what we've got. So if I do that, I've got uh, a 1. And no twos, we've got a three and a three. Yep, I've got a four and I've got two fives and a seven. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. I've got a three and a three, I've got a five and a five. The mode needs to be five, so obviously. Um, from the previous video, we know that the mode means the most. So 5 needs to occur the most. So you might have already guessed it from the start, which is great. X needs to be 5. So actually, there'll be three fives, making the mode 5 from that list of numbers. Nice, easy start. This one here, again, got some numbers, missing value there. The mode is 2. And this time, we're told the median is also 2. So let's have a look. The median, remember, we always put them in order, so let's do that. I've got my 1, I've got 2 and 2, no 3, no 4 is 5, and then 8 and 11. Okay, so I've also got my x. Now I know with my value that the median, the middle value, needs to be 2. So if I've got 7 numbers... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I know the middle value, when I come in, this one must be a 2. Okay, So let's start filling in what we had. Well, I can put a 1 there, that's not a problem. I can put that 2 in there, that's not a problem. But that needs to be a 2. Okay, And then I've got my 5, my 8 and my 11. Okay, So that needed to be a 2, so I've used that in there and I've got this missing value here. Remember, with the median, the numbers must be in order. So I've got a two that side, two that side. So X, the missing number, must be a two. Always check it. The mode is two. Well, yep, I've got three of them. The median is two. Yep, brilliant. I've ticked all the boxes. Okay? So ever so slightly trickier, but not too bad. This one here. We're told the median needs to be 9.5. Brilliant, a decimal, just to make things a little bit more juicy. Okay, let's do the same trick we did here. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the median is 9.5. So I'm going to go in and find where the middle is. So first one, second one, third one. It's got those two numbers. So in the middle of those two numbers, the median needs to be 9.5, okay? So let's start putting these in order and see what we've got. The smallest one is a three. Uh, no fours, fives, but I've got a six. Uh, no sevens, but I've got an eight. The next number, maybe to be a bit careful now, the next number is a 9, so it's still below 9.5, so that's not a problem. I can put the 9 in there. But what's the next one? This is where I think we need to be a bit careful. The next one is 13. Now, I can't put 13 there because then the middle number, if I add them together and divide it by 2, I'm not going to have 9.5. So this is the number now where I think it is what x is going to be. So I'm going to skip to the next one and put my 13 in there. And I've got 19 and 20. Okay, so uh, this is fine, it's all below 9.5. This is fine, it's all above 9.5. But I need to add these two numbers together and half it to get 9.5. So if I double 9.5, I'm going to have 19. 
Um, if I've already got a 9, that means this needs to be a 10. You could have just spotted it, 9.5, what's it going to be in between? Well, it's going to be in between 9 and 10, but it's just another way to think about it, talking about from the last video we did. Add these two together, half it, boom, we have the median of 9.5. Highly recommend this strategy of writing down what the numbers are and start trying to fill them in to make it work. Okie dokie, x is a positive number. The range of the numbers below is 18. Work out x. So I've got the biggest number here already is 14 and the smallest number is 7. Okay, so if I pick the biggest number, 14, and see if that is the biggest number, and therefore try and work out the smallest number by taking away 18, because that's the range, I'm gonna be left with minus four. It says work out x, but x is a positive number. Doing it this way, x is minus four, nope, it doesn't work. So 14 is not the biggest number. Let's go with seven in being the smallest number. If I do seven add 18, I'm going to have 25. So is x 25 and therefore the biggest number? Well, 25, take away the 7, biggest number, take away the smallest number, you get 18, which is the range. Everything else is in between there. So, yeah, that works. So x in this case is 25. Okay, so there's some of the uh, more basic ones. Let's have a look at some slightly trickier ones to do with the means. Bear with me a second. Here we go, these are the juicy ones. Okay, now, whenever you are told the mean of a set of numbers, you must work out the total, every time, every single time. It will usually make the question so much easier um, with doing what you need to do. In fact, even if you don't know how to do or answer the question, just by working out the total, usually it reveals itself for how, it, how you actually work it out. So we're told the mean of the numbers below is 5, work out x. So like I said, we're told the mean, we need to work out the total. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The mean is 5. I'm going to assume they're all 5. They're not, but the mean just means the average. So if I assume they're all 5, that will help me work out the total because all I need to then do is add them all together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. So you could do seven times five as well as a quick way of doing it, but this way it's quite nice to see what you're doing. So seven times five is 35. So I know all of these numbers, including X, need to add up to 35 because I've worked out the total. Well, let's have a look why I actually do have eight, add two, add 5, add 11, add 2, add 1. If I add all those up, let's just do that underneath. We should always show our work in. Okay, if you add all those up, you come out with 29, I believe. 10, 15, 16. yep, 29. So if you add those up, you have 29. And then, like I said, the answer tends to reveal itself. So what's x? Well, the total of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers is 29. The total of 7 numbers is 35. So all you've got to do is just do 35, take away the 29, which leaves you with 6. So the missing number, x, must be 6. Simple as that. Okie dokie. Building from that, let's have a go at this. The mean age of 4 boys is 8. Work out the total. So 4 boys, 1, 2, 3, 4... The mean is 8, so I'm going to assume it's all 8. Add it together, 32. Okay, so the, the total for the four boys is 32. A fifth boy joins them. How old is the fifth boy if the mean is now 9? So five boys, mean is now 9. Work out the total. Five boys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The mean is 9, so assume they're all 9. Add it up. Again, you could just do um, 5 times 9, which gives you 45. And the answer pretty much reveals itself. The total of 5 boys is 45. The total of 4 boys is 32. So take them away. And we have 13. So that fifth boy must have been 13. 
Okie dokie, sometimes you can be given something like this. Five numbers have a median of eight, mode of three, range of nine, and a mean of seven. What are the five numbers? Sometimes there's only one way to do this. Sometimes there's a few different ways to do it, but you always start off with this. Five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and you start to fill it in. The median is eight, so that tells us the middle value Okay, it needs to be 8 because it's an odd number. Bang, bang, that's the middle number. So without any shadow of a doubt, that's got to be 8. Okay, tick. One mark. These are usually all worth one mark. So even if you can't get the whole thing to fit, just do as many as you can because you can pick up marks for doing each one. The mode is 3, so the number that occurs the most is 3. Remember, if this is the median, these need to be in order. So that's the only way that I can get the mode to be 3, by having two 3s below the eight, so these are in order, so that's now done. The range is nine, well that's gotta be the smallest number because I can't have anything else. So three add nine gives me 12. Okay, so my range 12, take away three is nine, so my range is now there. And we're told the mean is seven, we're told the mean, work out the total. Okay, five numbers, one, two, three, four, five. Assume they're all seven. Add it up, gives me a total of 35. Okay, so all these numbers need to add up to 35. Uh, so if you add those up, take it away from 35, you should find that the missing value there is nine, okay? So the total of all those is now 35. And that's how you tackle that. One last question to have a look at. which is this one here, and it's just to illustrate the same sort of thing, but with a slightly trickier median. This time I have six numbers, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a mode of five and a median of six. So, dum, dum. so I've got two numbers now. In the middle needs to be six, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put six and six. Give it a go, see what happens, okay? But if the mode is five, you see I come into a problem, because the mode here will be five and six. It doesn't say that, it just says the mode is five. So doing that solution doesn't work, okay? Not a problem, we'll just go again. So there's my six, I know in between needs to be a six, okay? So I need two numbers, okay? When we add together and half it, we get six, so I'm gonna go one below, which is uh, a five, and one above, which is a seven, so that middle number there is a six, and if I add these two up and half it, I get a six. Boom, median is sorted, the mode is five, this is why it's handy, I already have a five. But I'm still gonna stick two more fives in there, just to really make sure the mode is five. Brilliant, so that's sorted, that's sorted. The mean is seven. The mean, we need to work out the total every time. Six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the mean is seven, so assume they're all seven, add them together, or just do six times seven. Either way, you'll have the total to be 42. But I've got two numbers here, okay? Well, let's add these up, see what we've got. Five, add five, 10, add, another, add the other five, 15, add the seven, gives us 22. The total of all of them needs to be 42, so these numbers here, need to add up to 20. Okay, so some different options. They all need to be bigger than seven because these numbers need to be in order because of the median. So we could just go 10 and 10 because there's three fives, so it doesn't change the mode, but always double check that. Okay, but that one in this case is fine. Uh, we could have gone nine and 11 because they're still in order. We could have gone eight and 12. And you could have even gone seven and 13 because having two sevens, again, doesn't affect the mode being five. So it's just an example where there's a few different options there, okay? So hopefully that helps, guys. There's some different questions, different examples there to do with some problems to do with averages. Remember, the biggest thing that you can take from this video is if you are told the mean, work out the total. I get bored of saying it, because people always forget it, but that is crucial to a lot of these questions. If you're told the mean, work out the total. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully it helps. Cheers.